for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Now this will make it into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And in enemy territory last time through the interception. We'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling. Do they continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try and take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit. Back to throw, Brady. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got a hustle. They got to get to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He gets it into the hands of Ronkowski, complete. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Brady. Pass underneath for Fournette. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And the Buccaneer first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Brady to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six, or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They're set for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing, because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. First throw of overtime for Brady. He'll buy some time right. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Shotgun now for... And oh, look at that, a diving catch. 11 yards there, just like last play. I know you don't get anything extra for degree of difficulty, but maybe you should. He's done absolutely everything in this game today, including laying out for that one. The throw there by Brady, intended for Gronkowski, but incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended...
intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. To throw again. Brady airing this one out for Evans. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver, and he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. He'll set up the screen to Fournette, and he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Brady going to go on fourth down. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gigantic call there in overtime, but it pays off with a first down. Into the red zone, it's Brady. To Evans on the slant. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At the Chiefs, 10-yard line. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Hoping to keep this OT drive alive. Now they face a third and two. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. I know the defensive guy. Poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Rashad Breeland there defensively and able to knock that one down to the ground. First throw of overtime for Mahomes. He's going to have the first down past the 20. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. From the on, it's Mahomes. A quick slant to Hill. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And this is caught at the eight. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Mahomes to throw once more. And this will be caught. Touchdown. They needed overtime to get it done, but put this one in the win column. Touchdown, Chiefs. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this